Now the next level up is very simple and you do not need to know any ramp hold programming to do this. And it's very simple. What we're going to do, let's say I don't want to go to uh, O4 for my clay, I want to go to O5 instead. And I want to change the speed or I want to do any number of things. Here's what we do. Instead of just hitting the bisque button once, let's say I'm going to change the uh, options or the parameters in the BISC program, I hold it, I press and hold that for five seconds and eventually I will come up to a menu of several items, cone, I'm going to scroll through them, hold, cool, that's the cooling rate, restore, restores all the original factory parameters, heat up, that's heat up time in terms of uh, fast, medium, or slow. A candle, that is what we were talking about earlier, which is uh, a very low temperature firing to drive moisture out of the clay. And we're back to the cone. So I see the cone, this is what I want to change. I hit enter. It tells me what the value currently is, and I can use the up and down buttons to change this to uh, a different value. So I'm going to put in 05 and I'm going to hit enter and now that option has been saved and that is now my new program and uh, when I go and hit the bisque button and fire like that, that's what's going to come up instead of what was in the factory settings. So. Um, Keep in mind you have to go through each one of these and we'll do that fairly quickly here so you can actually see what the displays look like. So each time I'm going to have to hold the button that I want to change down until I get to the various things. So there's a hold, um, I could put a hold time in here, again I can do it like that, hit enter, I've saved that, I'm going to do it again, again I'm just repeating the process over and over again until I get all the things. Cool, I have off, which means the uh, kiln will just simply turn off. That's the fastest cooling you could have. Fast, which adds a little bit of heat to it, but is not too much. Medium and slow. This gives you control over the cool down rate without having to think too hard about it. So let's say I want a slow cooling. I'll leave it at that. And now I'm going to go to uh, let's do the heat up time. So we will go to heat up and I have slow, fast, and medium and um, let's say I want a medium heat up. Now you'll find all of these uh, programs, what these actually represent, slow, medium, and fast, in the instruction manual uh, if you want to know. So let's go through again. We will do this for, uh, let's do the candling. So there's the candle. I want to add, um, let's put an hour or so in. Now if I hold my button, notice how the display speeds up. And that same speed will stay that way until you kind of slow the whole thing down by giving a little bit of time. I put an hour in. Okay. Let's see what else uh, we, at the very end, I'm going to hit the restore button. Um, so we have cone, hold, cool, restore, heat up, candle, we've done everything. I'm just going to hit the restore button and now I've restored the factory values. Same, the glaze program works exactly the same way. Now let's, let's run one of these programs. I'm going to show you another feature. And I'm going to hit this button over here called Review. And when I do that, it tells me all of the parameters, or at least most of the parameters, that are running. And uh, you can keep, you can do it more than once. So it's saying it's got a seven hour candle, it's going to 04, it tells you the temperature, no hold, slow heat up, no cool down, and that's that. Okay, 
that's really it as far as uh, the very easy kind of programming. And then there's a whole other level of, for advanced users, which is called custom programming. And that's your, your traditional ramp hold programming, very similar to uh, other controllers you may be familiar with. 